Hey everyone, today we're talking about Python libraries, how to import them, install new ones, and use them in your code. Let's dive in. Python comes with built-in libraries you can use right away. No installation needed. For instance, import maths, and then you have, and then you can run print square root of 16, which is maths.sqrt16, and this would output Four. This is the standard library in action. Just import and go. Need more than what's built in? Pips is what comes in handy. To get pip, all you have to do is update by running sudo apt update, and then you have sudo apt install python3 pip to get pip, and then pip3 install request this will allow you for web-related tasks or any other external library you need. We've already covered maths, but another popular built-in module with Python is datetime. You can have import datetime, and if you have, as an example, value equals uh, maths.py, and then you have now equals datetime.datetime.now, and you have print value now, you would get the value of pi printed with the current time. Using modules like maths and datetime would instantly help you add complex calculations or manage date and times without writing any extra code yourself. To unlock library's full potential, always check its documentation, either online or with built-in help function in Python. This would reveal available methods, parameters, and how to use them effectively. Finally, bringing it all together by actually using this libraries. Here's a quick example combining maths and date time. Import maths followed by a comma followed by date time. We can start by importing the libraries maths and date time and then have radius equals five and we calculate the circumference of a circle by just equaling it to two multiplied by maths.py multiplied by radius and then time now equals the date time dot date, date time dot now and we kind of specify the format using this and then you have print the f string as of time time now the circumference of a circle with radius this is equal to circumference and when you run this what you see is that as of the day state at this time the circumference of a circle with radius five equals this number library save time so you can focus on the bigger picture like building awesome raspberry pi projects and that's it, importing standard libraries, insta installing new ones with pip, and tapping into powerful modules like maths and date time. Give it a try in your next project. If you found this useful, like and subscribe for more tutorials.